Hi, everyone. In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at provisioning YubiKeys on behalf of your users with the new Microsoft Entra ID FIDO2 provisioning APIs. Well, I already wrote a, a detailed blog post about it, but I will also show it to you so you have uh, an idea what it takes. It's uh, fairly easy, but you need to do to know what uh, in what order <laughs> you need to do it. So let's go, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how it works. So it is basically done in three steps. First, we need to have creation option for a user that we're going to request that using Microsoft Graph API. The next step would be to create the extra credential on the security key using the CTAP protocol. We're going to use Python script for that. And the third one was actually registering the key for your user, also using Graph API. Now, uh, what do we need for that? Of course, we need a, a YubiKey. Um, I have one YubiKey laying around here. We need an app registration in order to talk to Graph API. So it needs to have permissions. We, we're going to create that in a bit. And we also need an Entra ID group that will hold all the users that you want to create a YubiKey for. Next, you need uh, some uh, software to make it more easy. Of course, I use Visual Studio Code. Uh, we also need YubiKey Manager. We need Python and we need a specific Python module, FIDO2 Python module. And we also need some sample scripts that Yubico provided, which we can find here on, uh, on GitHub. Now, the first step would be to prepare our configuration file and it needs a, a bunch of parameters, which we will be uh, entering uh, one by one. The first uh, thing that we need is the, the, the tenant name. So we need to provide the tenant name. So let's get over to the Entra portal. And here in the overview pane, we can just copy the primary domain, which is the tenant name, and just paste it right in here. So that's done. Next, we need the client ID and the client secret of our app registration. So uh, let's go ahead to app registration, create a new one. Doesn't matter what it's called. So it needs to be a single tenant. Uh, application, just go ahead, register that. And straight ahead, we can already see the application or client ID shown here. So that's the thing that we need as well. I'm gonna paste that in here. And next thing is the secret. So we're gonna create a new secret. We go demo. And here we copy the value. And we're also going to paste that in the JSON file. So the main thing we already have in place, so we have the tenant name, the client, the client ID, and the secrets. But this app registration also needs specific permissions in order to be able to actually register the keys. So we're going to add a few permissions for the Microsoft Graph API. We're going to select application permissions. And the permission that we need is already here in the blog post. So we need authentication methods. Uh, read write all. Let's see if we can find that one. There it is. And the next one is group member read all because it also needs to read the group that we are going to provision. So we added those permissions. Don't forget to grant admin consent. So there we go. So we have our permission set up. We already did an inventory of the um, required information that we needed for the JSON file, so the application ID and the secrets. So um, the next thing that we need is our provisioning group. Well, let's go ahead. I already had a group for this, I believe. Let's search for FIDO. Here it is. So I have a FIDO2 provisioning group, uh, which at this moment holds only one user. So what we need is the name of that group, and we also provide that in the JSON file. The um, other parameters can be set to default. Um, I set this one to true because I also want to, the script to delete any existing FIDO credentials for my users. And I, uh, I'd like to have a random pin set to the key instead of me providing the pin. So um, for now, this is the configuration that we're going to work with. Now let's take a look at the group for a second. We see that Bianca is already in the group, but if I remember correctly, she already has a passkey 
uh, registered under her account. So the, the script will also delete this one. We're going to check that in, uh, in, in a minute. So what we need to do now is to go ahead to this first Python script, and this will basically uh, go ahead, go uh, to Graph API, request a token. With the token, it will see, uh, it will read the group that we want to provision. It will see, okay, the, the group has one member. It will then go over the, all the members and see if any FIDO keys already have been registered to the account. It will delete them because we set the parameter. And then it will request the creation options in order to create the new key from Graph API. So this, this can also be done uh, offline. It will, uh, will basically create and prepare uh, the bulk enrollment uh, for us. So let's uh, let's kick it off and we can see it happening right away. So it, it calls different API calls, the group that we had for our, for our provisioning. It will also see the members. Well, it only has one member. The user already has one existing FIDO security key, so it's already deleted. So let's check that real quick. Let's go ahead. We see that uh, all the FIDO2 credentials are now deleted. Um, and it sees, okay, I'm now going to grab the creation option for Bianca. It is valid for 60 minutes and it's put into this CSV file. So this is basically our preparation file that will be. We need that in the next step in order to actually create the credential on the UB key and then create the pass key in Microsoft Entra. So it holds the, the username, display name, uh, the user ID, a challenge, uh, and at the end there is the relying party ID, which in our case is login.microsoft.com. Now, over to the next step. The next step will actually use the CTAP protocol in order to write to the um, to the key, so it will request a new key pair from the from the UBI key, and it will send the private part to Microsoft Entry ID to register the new FIDO credential. So let's see if that works as well. Now it will prompt us to press Enter. Now we'll say, okay, insert your UBI key. I'll go ahead and do that. It sets the pin, a random pin, and now touch my key, and it will go ahead and it will just create this new passkey for this user. And we can check that because this is now added to this CSV file. Here we have it, Bianca is our uh, test user, and we have a new FIDO2 key registered with this pin code. If we go ahead and check in the portal to see if the new passkey is created, there it is. And the script also um, has had put in some details, so like the serial number, for example. Well, um, basically that's it. So it's a two-step two process. Um, it's all here in the blog post. You can read it for yourself, and I hope this video will help you to put this all together. So um, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.